Okay, we're taking, making fettuccine alfredo today. Gonna start with some boiling water that's been well salted. We're gonna add our pasta. We're using tortellatelli today. So not really fettuccine, I guess. Gonna cook that till it's al dente. I got some butter and a little bit of Italian seasoning in here. To that I'm gonna add one clove of garlic. Saute that a little bit. There's a lot of different ways to make this. Uh, from ultra traditional where you would just have the pasta cooking water, the pasta and cheese, to uh, just butter and uh, cheese and the pasta. And then the more Americanized version which has some cream involved too. So we're going to try to do a little bit of the marriage of the both. My compound butter has a little bit of olive oil in it too to make it a little bit more spreadable. Let me see here the butter starting to get all nice and foamy. Means we're getting a little bit of flavor into it. At this point we're going to try to start making our sauce. Take a little bit of this pasta cooking water. Just a splash. That's going to steam and sizzle at the same time. We're going to start making our, it's going to start turning into a sauce. You see here. It's already a little bit creamy. That's the cream and the butter. It's already a little bit of a sauce already. And now that we add that water, that's going to kind of dull out the uh, taste of the garlic so it's not as pungent. I'm going to keep on cooking that. I'm going to add just a little bit of cream. I'm using, going to use half and half today. About half a cup, not even. I'm gonna keep on stirring our pasta. And then for cheese, I'm gonna use some uh, Pecorino Romano today. Only about an ounce of it that gets put in the end. Now we see it's starting to come to the boil. And reduce our heat. Just let that cook a little simmer a little bit while our pasta is finishing. just the way you want it to be right now. Um, so now we're going to take our pasta and finish cooking it right in the right in the uh, sauce. So I strained them out over the sink. I did reserve the pasta cooking water. All right. So now we're going to finish that cooking in here. Keep the fire going. It will get thicker.
And anytime you think it's starting to get a little bit too tight, you can always add a little bit more of the pasta water. And I think when I add my cheese, it's going to need some, so I'm going to grab a little bit of that right now. Add that back in. Pasta is just about cooked. Add some fresh cracked pepper. I'm not gonna add any salt because we had the pasta seasoned with salt in the water. And then our cheese is gonna have salt. So now when you add the cheese, you want to close your fire. Because we don't want our cheese to get stringy. It's going to be plenty hot to melt it. And we're just going to fresh grate our cheese right into our pot. Keep it moving. We'll keep it from getting floppy. And just keep it creamy. At any point you think you're not going to be creamy, you add some more of your pasta water to it. You see that's coming together. And cream it into a nice sauce. Garlic toast with it. A little bit of fresh cheese on top. Don't want to lose that. And there you go. Homemade fettuccine Alfredo. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy.